ABC Connecticut News starts now. We begin with breaking news in Wallingford. I'm Keisha Grant. And I'm Mike Hyduck. At least two people have been seriously hurt after a house fire there. NBC Connecticut's Matt Austin is live in Wallingford with the latest. Matt? Yeah, so Mike and Keisha, this could be a long night for firefighters and investigators. Not long ago, we had some police vans rolling up here. That house involved is just beyond them. They're really just trying to piece together exactly what led to this fire here. A frightening scene as crews arrived to hear screaming coming from inside. In the last couple of hours, we received an update from the Wallingford Fire Department. They tell us two people were rushed to the hospital with serious injuries, including by Lifestar. This is they make sure everyone else is okay after a fire ignited in this three-family home on Geneva Avenue. We're told the fire roared on the second floor and crews battled tough conditions looking for anyone inside. What was the biggest challenge for you guys? Uh, I think it was the heat and the heavy black smoke. Um, uh, uh, when the crews got there, like I said, they encountered that first victim. They quickly transported him to an area hospital. And uh, getting inside, uh, encountering the heavy black smoke and the heat, and getting through the fire to search for the rest of the victims. Still no word yet on the total number of people hurt or how many people lived here. State Police is helping with the investigation. And they're still looking for what sparked the flames. The Red Cross already out here helping those affected. Of course, as we learn more, we'll bring it to you on air and online. Live in Wallen from Matt Austin, NBC, Connecticut News. It's raining across most of Connecticut. The heaviest rain right now is from Waterbury into New Haven and just to the east. We'll take a closer look here from New Haven out through East Haven, Brantford, Guilford, Madison, North Brantford. The rain is coming down at a decent clip. Also here in Hampton, right along the Wilbur Cross Parkway and up Route 10 toward Mount Carmel. You've got a decent little downpour moving through. And there's more where that came from. We've got some rain off to the west of us, a line of thunderstorms here across Pennsylvania. And it looks like these showers and thunderstorms will hold together. And by late tonight, tomorrow morning, I think the rain picks back up. In fact, our computer models are showing quite a bit more rain late tonight and tomorrow morning than they were earlier today. So I think we are going to be pretty wet, at least to start the day. By afternoon tomorrow, maybe a little bit of improvement, but not much. It's soggy out there in 